Hi everyone, here's Lucas. Welcome in this new video to talk about risk management, why risk management is so important, and how can you manage your risk easily. Let's get started. The first goal in trading is to preserve your capital, in my opinion, and only in a second step you want to make it grow with a good stability. That's my opinion, and that's why I take so much time to manage my risk. And obviously, risk doesn't mean the same thing for you, for me, or for another person, for example, because we all have different tolerance to our risk. It can depend on your age or the capital that you manage. It depends on a lot of factors. But don't forget that manage your risk is the key to stay on the long term. It's better, in my opinion, to earn less, but to keep your capital than trying, than trying to earn a lot of money but lose your capital. There are a lot of different ways to manage your risk. The first is the must-know, which is the take profit and the stop losses. So it's really easy to use them, but it's really good to manage your risk. A take profit is just an amount that you will set before placing your order. And if you touch this price or after a certain variation, you will close your position. And for the stop loss, it's exactly the same thing, but in the opposite way. Even before placing your order, you will know what your risk is. And that's amazing. The second advice to have a good risk management is to keep a good position sizing. Because when you trade, you work generally using compounded interest. It means that if you have $1,000 and you earn 50%, for example, on a huge trade, you will have $1,500 and you will place your order, for example, using 1% of risk on the new capital that you have, the current capital, okay? And not the $1,000 only. And if you do that, it means that you work using compounded interest. But compounded interest react really bad when you have huge losses. That's why you need to really manage your risk to be able to stay on the long term. The third tip is to use risk-adjusted metrics. What is that? It means that you will not just look about the returns, for example. You need to look about the return, which is a measure of the performance, but also about the risk, for example, using the drawdown. And after that, you will create your risk-adjusted metric, which is the return over drawdown, for example. The drawdown is the current loss that you have from the last highest point to now, okay? So it's a good measure for your risk. And if you use the return and the drawdown, you will create a risk-adjusted metric. You can create other metrics like the sharp ratio or the sortino ratio or other metric that you want. But you need to have a measure of performance and a measure of risk to create your adjusted risk ratio. The last tip is to create a trading plan and to stick to it. Even if you are an algorithmic trader, it's really essential to have rules. Because if you don't have any rules, each time you will want to stop your butt if you have too much consecutive losses or you will want to reactivate it if you want that it will be profitable now, etc. It's really not the good thing to do. Why? Because you have a backtest, you have test your strategy without any interferences, and now you create interferences. And that's really bad to have significant results. So you need to create rules. I will put my strategy on the market if I have this, 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 and this. I will quit my bot if I have a too much drawdown, or if I have that, etc. You need to have rules. And that's really, really important. You need to have a clear process and create trading strategies like if you work into a factory. You have processes and you follow them. Okay, you will test this idea of trading strategy. And if this trading strategy succeed this test, you will go to the next step and to the next step until you will go in live trading. And, and even there, you will have tests to do to see if we need to quit the bot or not. Now, let me just show you a little example of the same strategy, again, but with many mistakes of risk management. Now, let me just show you the same trading strategy, one time with a really good risk management and the other time, and the other time I have added a lot of risk management errors. Like I have put too much risk, 
a bad stop loss or a bad position sizing, etc. I hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe. It's very essential for my SEO. And if you have any other question about this subject, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.